So we are live again in class, making some videos and doing the homework, basically doing the homework. Uh, today, if we look at our assignment, we've made the bird, we've made the pipes, but we don't have the score, we don't have a game over screen, and you're talking. Unless you got questions, I'd love to answer some questions, but if you got a question, you're gonna need to raise your hand and ask me a question. What's your question, man? Uh, so I did the same code that you got up there, and it's not working. Okay, so that's a great question. Your code isn't quite working. I don't know how it's not working, but even for you watching this video later, if your code isn't working, there's a whole process of debugging. We'll get to that after this video, but really what you're gonna to wanna to do is you're gonna to need to know one important thing. My code is not your code. so. If you're using the exact same numbers as mine and you're like, your little like towers are not doing their tower thing, so like it's not like, if they're just off and it's a little glitchy, then maybe check your numbers and um, I'll make sure I show you how I got those numbers for mine so you can get your own numbers. That'd be my first guess about not working, but if it's something else, please ask nice specific questions about what is not working and what specifically is not working and I can I can walk you through that but right now we're gonna keep moving forward um, and I've, I've got a beautiful game to play but I have to basically enforce the rules of you know me going and it's not there's no like there's no score for one so let's fix the score thing and really the score is basically when the pencil is bouncing back I should just make a score so I'm gonna make a variable here New, new variable, call it score. I could make this a cloud variable and save a high score, but I don't want to. So there's my score. And then I'm gonna do some like hmm, math. No, I'm gonna make change right here, uh, right there. And then I'm gonna change my score by one. And you can see I've got my Y and my fall faster and my score. And I actually don't need my Y or fall faster up there, but I do like my score. And if I double click it, if I double click it, it changes the way that it looks. And I can literally just kind of cheat and put the score right here in the middle. And then when I run this code, every time the pencil kind of bounces back, I've got a new score, which is quite literally exactly what I want. So that score thing was really quick. Yeah, we got a question in the class. What's up? Do you need to go down the hall? I'm literally, yeah, sure, I guess, go down the hall and then watch the video later. That's why we're making these videos so you can, uh, Go down the hall. Uh, so next, obviously, is we need to be able to kind of end the game if our flappy bird, or in this case, my cat, hits the pencil, right? And, and so now we need to make a choice about where we want that logic to happen. Do we want the logic to happen with the cat or do we want the logic to happen with the pencil? Uh, because either one of these, it can happen there. And right now, like, I don't have a lot of information in the pencil. My cat doesn't look very complicated, but like it's busy flapping, you know? And my pencil already has the score stuff, so I may as well have my pencil be checking. Uh, I may as well have my pencil check. So I'm gonna make an, uh, a little like event here, or sorry, a little control here. And basically I'm gonna have an if statement, another if statement, right? So I've got my if statement, this first one. Let me add a comment to that if statement. This will comment. This is going to, this will bounce the pipe back and count the score. All right, there we go. And this one, add a little comment, hit detection to end the game. All right, so I'm gonna grab this and put it over there. I don't need this anymore. I can like pop that and, you know, uh, where are my min and max values right here? I, I don't know. I've already got them coded. Uh, can I just drag this over to here? No, looks like I should just add that comment to there so it makes sense and just copy it. We cut, paste, and then I can shrink that. I can shrink this one. And these little comments help me know, like, you know what? Like this is for this and this is for that, uh, which will help me know what that particular code is doing in the future, which I'm a really big fan of. So I wanna go sensing and basically, if it's touching, if this is touching sprite number one, and because we're in the pencil, if pencil is touching sprite number one, that's our hit detection right there. And then we have our game over, which is in control, basically stop all. And that'll make the game stop. So let's go ahead and 
Run it. We okay. I passed that one. Okay, and ah, oh, you know what? That stopped. That's that's over. I do notice one other thing. My score right here is still at four, and I definitely did not like. I'm not setting my score equal to zero anywhere. So I need to set score to zero. I may as well do that here because everything for score is in here. So now when I reset it, I have zero score. And click my mouse, and I, I died. That's great. And ladies and gentlemen, we, we just got a point. Woo, we're doing it. We are so good at this. And then, of course, it dies. So there, there we go. That is a functioning uh, Flappy Bird. That re that this, this game that we've just done fulfills the requirements of the Flappy Bird assignment in this particular class. Uh, I hope that you make yours look awesome. Um, and feel free to add any other embellishments uh, that you want. Maybe change the backdrop. Um, maybe, maybe add a like game over screen. You know, uh, you know that's actually a really fun idea to make a game over screen. How would I do that? Well, I need some words to show up, and I think words showing up would be another sprite. Yeah. So I could come in here, and I could, you know, find a bunch of letters. Uh, look, there's some letters. I could spell out game over. Let's go into the costumes really quick. Here's a G. Make that whole thing. Group it. Bam. There's G. And I could, I could do this again with A and B and C. And I wonder if there's an easier way to write. Oh, look, there's an easier way to write. Game over. Oh, I'm so good at this. So now I can just move this around. Bam. And get rid of, get rid of this thing. Where's my mouse clicker? I don't need that. There's my game over. Center it right on there. That is, uh, that's beautifully centered. Uh, let's come into the code. Let's actually make that a little bit bigger in the costumes. Can I make that bigger? Whee! Nice and centered. There we go. Looks great. Come over here into the code. Here's my pencil. And we're going to stop all. You know what? We're not going to stop all anymore. We are going to broadcast uh, a message here. We're going to broadcast. And we're going to broadcast a new message, call it game over. And then in the game over, when we click the green, we are going to hide it. So when we click the green, we're going to hide it. Beautiful. And we do want to put it in the same spot every time too, right? We want to basically make sure that it's in the center of the screen. So we're going to go to. Um, zero and zero let's go ahead and do that that's great um and now let's go ahead and stop this well that was that was weird and unexpected why did that oh it didn't stop because i got rid of my you know stop thing so now i have to come into events and when i receive and i don't want click but i want game over what i want to do is i want to show it here's my show and then i want to go into control and maybe Stop all. Bam. So now let's run it. Uh, my game over shows up. Great job, everybody. Great job. I'm going to stop this video. Y'all have fun out there. Don't forget to submit your work because you got to submit the work to get the grades.